Hello and welcome to this introductory tutorial video for Game Launcher Creator V2. My name is Danny J. I'm the lead developer here at Bikebox Media. Uh, so in this introductory video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on how you can get up and running really quick uh, with Game Launcher Creator. Uh, the software makes um, creating game launchers really, really, really easy. I'm going to show you in this video how you can get up and running. There's a whole host of features that you can play about with and get to know so i'm going to cover most of the basics just to get you up and running and then after that you can check out the documentation section on the website for more information uh, so when you boot up um, game launcher creator v2 you'll uh, see the welcome screen uh, this usually contains links to uh, tutorials and stuff to get you up and running as well um, but we can close that for now because i'm going to show you how you can create your very own game launcher using game launcher creator v2 so when you want to create your game launcher, there's two ways you can do things. Uh, you can create a new project, which is uh, a blank launcher, which means you can then bring in your own images and artwork and buttons and whatnot. Um, or you can do file a new project from template and then you can choose uh, a template um, that's already pre-made. And you don't have to stick with this. I mean, you can start off with the template and then change things about if you want. It's just a template to get you up and running. Um, but it's dead easy. I mean, all you have to do is uh, simply select uh, a template like this uh, and then give it a, t t a project name so for this i'm just going to put test template 21 danny and click ok and you can see how it instantly builds that uh, for you and then you can move stuff about and resize stuff you can change anything you want it's just basically a template to get you up and running um so that is simple enough. I mean, if that's how you want to get started, then that's how you uh, go about it. Um, but I want to show you today on how you can create your own uh, from a blank project. So I'm going to call this uh, test GTA Five. Danny, click OK, and it's going to give me a blank uh, launcher to work from. So down here are your pages. Um, sometimes uh, these dialogues can be a little bit iffy and they might not load the pages up. So if they don't, just click on the green R down here and it will refresh the page list. Same with the object inspector here. If you click on the green R, it will refresh the object inspector. Um, but here on the left is all your launcher settings. Um, so for example, you have the window title, um, which currently is test GTA 5. So I can change that and I can call it my GTA launcher. Uh, the author is Danny. You can then choose your window size here by specifying that and clicking apply. So we can literally change that in real time. So I can do 1024, 480. You can see it draws the canvas up to 1024. Uh, and there's a, a plethora of options here that you can check for your specific launcher. Again, all the documentation is available on the website for you to check that out. Uh, should you want to uh, incorporate background music or what you know things like that all right so let's get up and running so the first thing that you need to do is if you're going to have a background image for your uh, launcher background do not use the local image um, and there's a reason for that i'm just going to delete that don't use an, an image for your background what you need to do is right click on your page and select page properties and then up here you can choose um, from some page properties let me just move these dialogues so we can see a little bit better so what you want to do is choose background and then select image and you'll see it goes black but that's fine because all we have to do is now go on the computer and find our image what we want to use uh, so as you can see here i have this background image i want to use and that's good and the reason why you should use this background image property is because you can't click on the image now so when you're designing your buttons and stuff you don't accidentally click on keep clicking on the image because uh, it's cemented into the background uh, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, we want to pop in a button so we can simply click button it's really as easy as that if i double click on that i'll get up the properties for that button so i can specify which images to use here so this is going to be our uh, launch button so i select what image i want to use or when it's not um, doing anything i want to select a hover image which is launch one and i'll keep launch one for the click as well now you can see that it looks a little bit stretched that button um, that's because it's not the right size 
simple enough just find the object over here in the object inspector right click and resize to original and then it'll resize to the exact dimensions inside your image so you can see how easy that was to include a button you can rename it in here so we can call this launch button so we don't so we don't lose track on what buttons are what uh don't forget to save your project often as well because uh, you don't want to lose any information should anything happen but we don't really get many reports of crashes with the fusion uh, with the game launch creator editor um so to configure this um f obviously if you would want to launch uh, a 5m server for example then you would simply go down to 5m direct connect and then you would pop in here your 5m ip and port and it's as simple as that you don't have to do anything else um, you don't even have to click apply just close it and that's it that's that button done so now when anybody runs your launcher and they click on the launch button it's going to launch up your server via 5m uh, so i'll just show you a couple more things uh, while we're here for example you can insert gifs animated gifs um, i don't have any gifs on my computer right now so i can't really show you how that works uh, so i'm going to delete that we have a library here uh, where you can choose from some pre-made buttons um, that you want to pop in um, but you already know now how to import your own buttons simply by selecting them from your computer here um, we have loads lots of different objects that you can pop in um, you can put in an image so if I pop in an image here double click that I can then choose an image like this there we go so again resize it to original so I go resize to original to see how big that image is so I want to size that down because it's far too big for the launcher I can do that by grabbing the handle in the bottom right corner just like that you can resize that down now if you need pixel per pixel perfect movement you can select the object here in the editor and use the arrow keys on your keyboard uh, and this will give you um, better precision um, and if you need even higher precision than that if you hold down the control key and use the arrows you can do it pixel by pixel so you can get it exactly where you need it to be inside the launcher um, so you can see we have an image there and a button you can insert as many buttons as you want you can pop in a video um, you can pop in text strings so if I pop in this text string here type in here I can just put uh, launcher copyright 2021 Danny Click on update you'll see it instantly updates there and in here you can change like the font settings um, so we can have it to Homer 12 uh, we can change the text color you see it's all instant it's all real time you can design your game launches however you want as fast as you want um, you can put in discord buttons links to the websites change logs videos links to forums you can create as many pages as you want um, you can have buttons that link to pages so you can have multiple pages in your launcher you can do loads of stuff you can do updates you can do all sorts of things i highly recommend that you sh check out the youtube channel that we have uh, which this video should be on so you can check out our channel maybe subscribe to it um, and don't forget to check out the website uh, www.gamelauncherCreator.com um, and that's pretty much it so I'm just going to show you now how you can build that straight away you can just click on build launcher click on build game launcher creator will build your project for you and there we have it so you get the launch executable and the data folder and the data folder contains all the images and stuff that you use in your launcher so whenever you give this out to anybody you must make sure you include the data folder there is a tutorial on our discord server for if you want to pack everything up into one executable so check that tutorial out on the discord server but if i run this launcher now you'll see there's a splash screen you can change that splash screen if you want as well and there is our launcher and you can see when i hover over the button get the hover effect 
So there's a lot of things that you can do with Game Launcher Creator. This literally is touching um, the tip of the iceberg and it was just a quick introductory video just to get you uh, up and running with how Game Launcher Creator works. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. If you need any further help, don't forget to join our Discord server and our community where the support staff and other users can help you out. And don't forget to check out uh, the documentation section on the website. Thank you.